In this video, we will show you 10 free lesser known programs that are really useful. Some of the programs are only available in certain operating systems, but otherwise, most of them are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Who knows, one of the programs might only be the one you are looking for. Without any delay, let's get into the video. Starting up with the first one, we have PDF24. If you are looking for a program that can help you with editing your PDF files, including merging PDF, compressing PDF, convert PDF to images, or converting images into PDF, or even optimizing your PDF files for websites, it has it all. As for offline version program, PDF24 is currently available for Windows only, but it has an online site which you can use for free, which means you can use this tool in any operating system with a stable internet connection. If you want to mirror your Android screen on your PC, here is a program called Screen Copy, abbreviated to SCRCPY. Screen Copy is available in GitHub on their main page. To install it in Windows, click on the download button and it will automatically download this zip file. For Linux, run a pt install scrcpy command on terminal. And for macOS, run brew install scrcpy command on terminal. For Windows, extract the zip file and connect your Android with your PC using a USB cable and run the scrcpyexe file. A pop-up will appear in your Android screen, which will ask you to enable USB debugging, click allow, and after that run the scrcpyexe file and your Android screen will pop up on your Windows machine. You can control the Android screen using your mouse, the only downside being you cannot hear sound of your Android, otherwise it is a great program. If you want to convert any file, then this program might be the best free program out there. Currently this program is only available for Windows. With just two to three clicks you can convert your audio, video, image, and documents into various file formats. File Converter is a shell extension, which means it's integrated into Windows can text menu in File Explorer. As an example, suppose you have a PNG image format that you want to convert into a JPEG format. Select File or Bulk Select all the files, right-click and search for File Converter and choose the file format you want the files to change to. It's that easy and simple. If you are using uTorrent to download torrent files, then I recommend using this program called Qubit Torrent. Some of you might have already heard of it, but for those who haven't heard, or still haven't using it, you should consider this program. Not only Qubit Torrent is fast and reliable, it's much more secure than uTorrent. With a very light and a little advanced UI, Qubit Torrent is a great P2P torrent client. It is available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and some other Linux distributions. TreeSize Free is a disk space analyzer, which shows you how much each file and folder is taking space on your drive. It has a clean user interface, which makes it super easy to find out which file is taking more space on your drive. Whenever launching this software, I recommend running this as an administrator to get the most accurate results. After opening the program as an administrator, click on Select Directory, then select the drive you want to scan and wait for it to finish scanning. It will show you in order of all the files that are taking highest space on that specific drive. Clicking on the arrows of each folder will show you the subfolders and on and on. It is currently available for Windows only. Next up, we have Scribus. It is an alternative of Adobe InDesign it's a free and open source publishing tool that works with the most popular of formats to create professional quality newsletters, brochures, posters, and so much more. Scribus is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Domain name Speed Benchmark is for you geeks trying to get the best internet speed possible. Created by legendary software engineer and security researcher Steve Gibson, this program will analyze the various DNS servers to find out what works best on your network. It is available for Windows and Linux. For my fellow programmers, still using Visual Studio Code from Microsoft for web development, which by the way is no longer an open source software if you know. It's just maybe the time for you to switch to brackets. It is a truly free open source text editor for Windows, Mac, and Linux. It has a clean user interface to get used to. 
so I recommend that you give it a try. If you've been using Chrome, Firefox, Edge, or Brave browser, then it's time for you to use the best browser currently available in the market called Vivaldi. This browser has way many features than any other browsers. You will find not just that this browser has super swift UI, also it doesn't take too much resource, and its tab management is very great, and its privacy system is really powerful, giving you all the controls of it to its core. I recommend you give this browser a try. Who knows you might get attached to it. And for the final program, we have have Sumatra PDF. This PDF reader supports various document types, which might not be seen in many different programs. Currently, this program is only available for Windows. So if you are a Windows user and having trouble to view different types of documents, I recommend this program for you to use. Thanks for watching. If this video is helpful for you, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to EasyBot and let us know if there is any other free softwares or programs you use that was missing in the video.